Hey guys, Matt Cichlid Dojo back with another update. Um, today's update, as you can tell, is on the uh, Red Terrors, the Meso Heroes Fest Day. Um, and uh, I always like to label uh, the fish properly here so everyone, uh, even if uh, you're a new viewer, uh, everyone understands uh, these. Uh, the catch location or the collection point is uh, Rio Gaius. Uh, these, this is a wild caught pair uh, of Rio Gaius Feste. Um, I think they're looking uh, looking pretty good. Um, the male, uh, he's the one who I've often referred to as male number two. Um, you know, he's kind of for most of the time, and I've had him. Um, for over a year and a half to two years now. Um, always kind of been skinnier, uh, slimmer, not very tall uh, profile, but I feel like um, as of lately, maybe in the past month, he's starting to eat a little bit more. Um, he's starting to put on a little bit of size in that profile, and uh, I think that's really good, uh, especially since his female was such uh, so close to him in size. Uh, for quite a while and uh, that's obviously a scary thing uh, you know one uh, I, I don't want the female to turn on the male and be able to to uh, to kick his butt I guess or uh, even worse uh, kill him and uh, two it'd be nice to get some size difference uh, you know between the male and female so hopefully I can get some uh, tubes and uh, hiding places that the female can hide and the male uh, can't get into but um, they have been doing really well together uh, for as long as they've been here. Um, part of the reason uh, for that, what I, I believe, is uh, you know there's a, a divider in the middle of this 240 gallon tank, and uh, there's more feste on the right. Um, there's a bigger male as well as uh, multiple females, and uh, you know these males uh, will oftentimes be flaring up at each other through the divider. Even this male flares up at the uh, the females, and so uh, that's one thing uh, that really helps uh, toning down that aggression towards his female, uh, I believe. And in uh, number two, um, I do have a small group of silver dollars with them. They're up near the top of this tank. I don't know if we're going to see them uh, in this video, um, but uh, those also help. Um, kind of like target fish, but the silver dollars. Um, are really good and strong fish uh, with a lot of the cichlids that I've kept. Uh, that's basically been my observation. So, um, you know, I have, I believe, 15 to 20 of them, and a lot of them I've had for, you know, over five, six years. Um, they're just, you know, keep growing, really strong fish, and uh, they do a good job at uh, some of that, uh, you know, aggression. Uh, minimalizing that aggression and so uh, you know I, I use them very frequently with fast day um, I also have a group of uh, those silver dollars with the uh, other side uh, the you know the, the fast day the one male and uh, three females and there's a big group of silver dollars there so um, you can say that's one of my, uh, my biggest uh, things I like to do with uh, aggressive species um, but anyways back to the pair uh, they're doing really well um, and I'll show a little bit in this video where I still have the breeder box uh, up at the top left hand uh, corner and uh, they are the female at least is still somewhat in protective mode um, although you, you can tell from this video it looks like uh, the male uh, at least the male and maybe the female uh, they might be um, getting ready to spawn again so um, you know, that'd be a good thing. Uh, I do have uh, multiple batches of these guys. Uh, the biggest fry uh, are kind of, uh, those are gone now. But, um, you know, I have uh, two other batches. Uh, you know, one in the 75 I think I showed in my fish room update and another in this breeder box that I need to uh, get down in at least a 10 gallon, hopefully soon. Um, yeah, you can see the behavior here and it's, uh, it's really good, you know, the male never really does any damage to the female, and uh, that's perfect for me, you know, um, you know, I've had a lot of fest day where uh, it's just the male is just overly aggressive and will not, uh, 
will not play nice with any females that I put them with. And, and uh, you know, after years and years trying um, and not wanting to do a divider breeding type of deal, uh, you know, I, I want to find a pair that can coexist. Uh, you know, I've ended up, uh, you know, moving on multiple males in the past, but um, this has been one of my best pairs uh, for a while now. Um, knock on wood, and hopefully it continues going that way. Um, and uh, other observations, uh, you know, um, I guess their fry have done really well. Um, they've never ha really had massive batches of fry. I've had feste pairs in the past that have literally had, uh, you know, close to a thousand fry batches. Uh, those are some of the real Esmeraldas that I had before. But all of the, uh, the size of the batches, as far as quantity for, from this pair, have been in that range of 150 to 200 fry. So um, not that I need any more. Um, that's more than enough for me to grow out and, uh, you know, distribute to uh, everyone who wants to get some of their offspring. But uh, I thought it was an interesting observation. Um, you know, and maybe they'll, it'll increase uh, as they get bigger in size. Uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. Um, but yeah, um, they're doing really well. And, uh, you know, I have uh, more of this video here for you. Um, very entertaining uh, from my, my opinion. I, I've watched these video before I've put this together many times. And, uh, you know, feel free to stick around uh, if you want to see the, uh, you know, the entirety. Uh, if not, then, uh, you know, thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, until the next video, take care. Bye.